Muchas gracias a mi colega, congresista Soto. De <laughs> um, Okay. Uh, forgive me. Now, um, now I'd like to recognize my colleague and friend, Congressman Jared Maskowitz, for five minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Congressman W. Watson Schultz. I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Dan Kilday uh, and Robin Kelly, for being here, uh, as well as Leader Jeffries. Welcome to Broward County, the only county that voted Democrat in the last election, at, at least. <clears throat> It, it, at least in South Florida. At least in South Florida. That's what, I, that's what I'm at in South Florida. Um, I'm at in the South Florida region, okay? Uh, so a couple, couple quick observations. Um, you know, what, first is with what the Supreme Court, well, for the first, thank you to the witnesses for being here and thank you for sharing your stories. But one of the things that I, f I find fascinating but also very telling of the Florida Supreme Court is that the three newest justices, the three newest people onto the court, three women appointed by the governor, all voted for um, the six-week abortion ban, but then voted against letting the voters decide. So they voted to negate what voters in 1980 did. Okay, They said those voters were wrong, and then wanted to deny today's voters the ability to weigh in. And that's not just telling on this issue, it's telling for where the Supreme Court is going, is going. That the Florida Supreme Court now has a tilt to the right, a more extremist view uh, with the three newest people in a 4-3 decision. That's how close the decision was to allow voters to decide. So obviously we're stuck in this moment, but also the concern about where this court is going should uh, another justice retire uh, and the governor get another, get another appointment. Um, so I think that bears notice. It also bears notice that those, judge, those justices are also on the ballot for retainment. Uh, so if the voters also want to show their displeasure uh, to those justices for their vote, uh, they could also weigh in uh, in November. Thank you. Um, you know, I miss the days where my Republicans were for small government. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how they want government everywhere, government everywhere. And look, the last couple of years here, we've had culture wars in Florida, and the culture wars have failed. They, they failed. They did not achieve the objective that they tried to achieve, but they have hurt a tremendous amount of Floridians uh, in the process. Oh, Ms. Dorbert, I, I found your story very compelling, obviously, and, and tragic. Um, did any of your, did your medical professionals tell you to get on a JetBlue flight and fly to New York? Uh, my OB talked to me about it. Um, when she realized her hands were tied, um, she asked, you know, what I thought about going out of state. Um, from her standpoint, she said it'd be very costly. And she's like, she could not promise me there would be any legal repercussions. And so that's kind of what she had told me and advised. Right. And we, same thing, family, friends, all weighing whether you should literally get on a plane and leave the state where you live to go to another state to receive health care within the same country. I mean, they all weighed in about going, but I had to think about my four-year-old son at the time, how long would I be away from him? I've never left him more than a couple of nights. And obviously, whether healthcare was gonna cover it, because right now I'm having a hard time healthcare covering just what a treatment now to help me. And so, and then finding a doctor in another state to do it safely. Yeah, Could, what did you, when your doctor sat you down and said, by the way, if you want this level of health care, my recommendation to you is possibly to get on a plane and go to another state. What, what, did, you, what did you think at that moment? I was really shocked because I think I was still in a shock state once I found out. He had potters and, you know, then... But then I found out I had to carry the full term, and then she told me, you know, there's the option of going out of state. 
Um, she didn't advise it, but she just told me it's costly. She didn't know what the repercussions is, but if it was something I wanted, she would help. But she also said if I st stayed here, that she would take good care of me to the best of her ability. Thank you. I appreciate you coming today and telling your story. Thank you, Congressman Moskowitz, gentleman yields back. Um, and now 